Brian Jones with us this morning. Josh Krug from the Indiana County Office of Planning and Development. We're talking about uh, the big event that is coming up this weekend. And Brian has even brought us in some some of Mark Altrogi's paintings, yeah, huh? Yeah, I, I like thought those. we could show them on the radio. Yeah, go ahead. Use Des- your best word picture. Des- here, describe well. It, well, there, there's the... you know what? Well, before you start, just mm-hmm. let me say when you were here earlier and you told us you said they brought color and they really liven the place up. No kidding. Wow, were you right? Yeah. Wow, those are. He's gorgeous. got such a great palette, but uh, it's just a way with paint, too. Um, the the blue birches down in the uh, bottom panel are just... I mean, you can feel yourself walking through... Mm-hmm. Um, Walking through that time of... Uh, that time of evening or morning when the light is just changing. And that yellow sky beyond the horizon and the lush greens and blues. And yeah. it, it, he just... Uh, He's just a master with, with color and composition, the rhythm of all of those birch trees. You can just feel like you're walking through that forest. But the, my favorite piece of the entire show, um, because it's an unusual uh, um, angle for him to, to take, but uh-huh. we see so many barns up on hillsides, right? Yeah. And uh, the, the painting at the top is called Happiness is a Red Barn. Mm-hmm. And then there's the bicycle parked right in front of it. Yeah. And those, you can just... You can just wonder, who's arrived? Mm-hmm. Where are they? <laughs> and then, um, same yeah. with the one on the bottom left, the green bicycle mm-hmm. against the, the red barn, uh, those textures of the barn wood and the, I, uh, the flowers in the basket. That, 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 each one of these sort of tells a story. You know, somebody's, yeah. somebody's here and somebody's doing something. I took some pictures of them that I, we can put on our Facebook oh, page. Oh, fabulous. Um, but uh, by golly, you got to get up and see these paintings. Those are those are very nicely done. They are in association uh, with the show that you have at uh, the Artist's Hand. Yeah, bikes, barns, and birches. It's uh, new paintings by Mark Altrogi, and yeah. it's what gave me the idea to start kicking around uh, a bike ride, mm-hmm. a, uh, a ride for fun, but also a ride to help support the Indiana Bicycle Coalition. And I invited Josh Krug uh, eight minutes ago to uh, <laughs> to join me on the air here yeah. uh, because uh, he was part of the inspiration along with others to put mm-hmm. something together to promote the, um, uh, the Hoodlebug extension that will connect uh, downtown Indiana and the uh, work that they're doing on the municipal parking lot at South 8th and Church to the, uh, the what has been the end of the Hoodlebug yeah. Trail up to now. Yeah. So, Josh, good morning. Good morning. How are you, Todd? Wonderful. Good to, good to have you back with us today. So the ride is coming up on Saturday. Coming up on Saturday and, and um, Brian contacting me, whether he was contacting me because of my personal life and in the bike coalition, you know, that, that I helped found in 2012 and then all the things that we've done since then, or whether it was because of my work with the county planning office, he was going to get both. And, and, and he did, there you, um, go. you know, so, so um, when we met, uh, we were able to plan, uh, help, I was able to help him plan this event and uh, bring to the table, you know, uh, my knowledge about the project um, and, and how it's evolved and uh, where it's going uh, currently. And then also uh, my role with the Bike Coalition. Um, this is a great thing for the Bike Coalition to be able to uh, raise funds uh, through a community um, activity that also involves local businesses, um, local uh, projects that, that are actually a, um, a partnership project with, with Indiana University of Pennsylvania, the borough, uh, White Township, and the county. So this is really a, a natural fit and a natural partnership. Mm-hmm. So Saturday, 3.30 to 6.30, that's the general time frame. Uh, so 3.30, they're heading off to the artist's hand, Brian, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, at the artist's hand, the back door, but you can come in the front door too. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, 3.30 to 4 o'clock gather and mingle and go over the route and mm-hmm. the way that the whole poker run works, because I didn't even know what a poker run was yeah, until uh, a few days ago. Krug, he's a noted gambler. So he knows <laughs> Notorious. Yeah, Are we on the air? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, actually, Bob at, uh, at Indiana Schwinn uh, yeah. gave me the idea for that. So, so we'll have destinations uh, along the route. Um, so we'll plan that route from mm-hmm. 3.30 to 4 o'clock, head out at 4 o'clock. It's a pretty easy ride uh, over two hours uh, with stops and things. We'll stop at, uh, people can stop at levity. We don't all go in a herd or anything. You just yeah. travel at your own pace. Um, there'll be uh, brews of coffee and tea and so forth available at the artist's hand. And then at levity, Mm-hmm. Uh, root beer and uh, a couple of their 
pores uh, are going to be available in nine ounce pores uh, if you're wearing a bright blue wristbands from our event. Yeah. And then uh, over at Noble Stein, uh, same thing. Mm-hmm. And then we'll visit the Indiana Schwinn Shop and the uh, uh, IRMC Park, downtown Indiana. And Linda Mitchell will be there to uh, um, hand out a, uh, a card yeah. so that if if you pick up a card at each of these stops, you put together a poker hand, and the best hand wins, and the worst hand wins something. There you we go. We haven't figured that out yet. So you've got your five cards. You find out what kind of hand you have, mm-hmm. uh, and whether you're going to fold or you're going to... I don't Yeah, and see, we'll Josh, wrap that up at no 6 idea. o'clock on Saturday. Poker. I can't play Go Fish, so... Well, you don't really get much beyond the five cards. Okay. It's, uh, so there's no, I don't think... <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's a simple concept, but it's based in, in a card game. You're not you know? invent um, a couple of more stops, but, and you can turn some cards over exactly. and try to get something but, but But everybody wins, you yeah. know, w- with this. You know, the, the project wins, and, and the artist hand wins, and the community wins, and... Uh, and the bike coalition. So, so I think yeah. that's, that's a great thing. And it's, it's like uh, Brian said, it's about a six mile ride total, mm-hmm. about two hours of riding, a half hour on the front end at artist hand, a half hour on the back end at the artist hand. And, um, it, we'll, we'll ride down past levity down to the turnaround there by, uh, Omni, the old Omni, uh, by divine destiny ministries. There's a kind of a trailhead there. Yeah. We'll, we'll turn around there and, and, uh, you can go at your own pace. And I, I think that, that the route is uh, pretty intuitive and we'll, we'll ride the, uh, the will be Hoodlebug Trail extension route. Yeah, well, that, let's talk about that because uh, we really want to focus in upon that right now. Uh, the Hoodlebug extension we've been waiting for a long time for it to come, uh, and it is here finally. At least this aspect of it, all the way into Indiana Borough. Yeah, you will be able to. Um, hopefully, this project will be done in uh, September of this year. It got pushed back a little bit. We were hopeful that it'd be done in August of this year, but we've mm-hmm. been waiting six years, you know, to get this project <laughs> done in, in one do way it. or another. Another month, we we can do it at this point. Although uh, it would have been nice to have it for for the entire summer. Um, we hope to have it done before the summer is actually over mm-hmm. officially. You know, in in early September, um, but. Uh, Th- this uh, particular portion of, of the uh, Hootabug Trail extension, you will be able to ride out your door here in Indiana Borough and utilizing the current Hootabug Trail, uh, uh, 10 and a half miles. It'll actually be uh, 12 miles from Indiana Borough from the, the, where it's extended to. You'll mm-hmm. be able to get to Sailor Park in Black Lick and connect to the Ghost Town Trail, yeah. uh, which is a national uh, uh, trail, national rail trail. And uh, you will be able to ride all the way to Evansburg, downtown Evansburg. So downtown. we can have a seat to seat connection from our county seat to Cambria County seat. And that's an exciting uh, uh, concept that, that we're uh, yeah. ex- excited to realize. Yeah, finally. Finally. Um, and and uh, it's, it's really amazing. Ghost Town, in fact, they're celebrating a big anniversary this year, aren't they? 25th anniversary. Uh, I don't have the date off the top of my head. I believe it's September Sixth. It's early September. Yeah. Uh, don't quote me on it, but there is going to be a celebration of that event, and there there will definitely be media uh, to keep your eyes and ears out for um, yeah. uh, to, to celebrate that uh, 25 years. I think it's the uh, first trail in the state of Pennsylvania that used state transportation dollars uh, to complete it. So it, mm-hmm. it really is a historic uh, project. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's a great ride. Uh, the Hoodlebug is a tremendous ride as well. Uh, so the event on Saturday, again, is from 3.30 to 6.30. Starts at the artist's hand, ends at the artist's hand, uh, and then you follow the trail, uh, literally. Yeah, and it, it's $5, the, the poker run, but it's also free if, if you don't want to be involved in that aspect of it. You uh-huh. know, we, we want to get people out there uh, riding the trail, learning about the project, uh, and, and seeing the artwork. right Oh, Yeah. Yeah, good stuff here. Brian, what did you bring me today? I brought you a uh, uh, an Italian soda. Do I need to stir this up? It wouldn't hurt to stir that a little bit, but uh-huh. um, it's got a couple little flavors in it. Let's see if you can guess the flavors. Okay, hang on here. Mm-hmm. This is my idea of stirring. We, do, uh, we, do, uh, we have a, uh, about a dozen homemade syrups that we use, yeah. plus some other Tarani syrups. We got a lot of flavors, uh, a lot of summer flavors for uh, for people to get refreshing drinks at the artist's hand on Philadelphia Street. Josh, Brian and I used to do this every Wednesday. Yeah, it's like old home week. He would, oh, okay. He would, he would bring me a, 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 a refreshment from the artist's hand, and I'd try to guess what it is. Well, now I know I have to bring a refreshment next it's time. A, it's, you, want, you want preferential treatment? Yeah, here we go. No idea. Ah. There's some anise in there? Uh, no, there's a little bit of lavender. Oh, Imagine. okay. Close cousin. Yeah. And then there's vanilla and lemon. I was, was going to say vanilla. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to say lemon, but I was going to say yeah, vanilla. Yeah, a touch of lemon just to f- freshen it up a little bit. Yeah. So it's, it's cool. real summery. Well, you got two out of the three. It is. Yeah. yeah. It is. 
Yeah. Lemon and vanilla. You well, I came a little close. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a delicious scone there from Six Hand Bakery, too. Wow, a scone yeah. from Six Hand, huh? Those folks are, they, boy, they do good stuff. They do. Man, I'm, I'm not going to dip it. Well, <laughs> you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that either. <laughs> uh, all right, so terrific stuff. Um, it's happening this weekend. It's in downtown Indiana and then forward into White Township. Uh, for the uh, Bikes and Brews in support of the Hoodlebug Trail Extension. Mark El Trogi's exhibit, Bikes, Barns, and Birches as well. Those are some beautiful paintings. Aren't they? How many? Uh, you brought three today. I brought three. How and big of an exhibit barely is made it? Dent in it. There are 22 new pieces. Wow. Every, uh, every season is represented. Spring, yeah. summer, fall, and winter. There are a couple of uh, barn pictures set in winter that are just not knockout gorgeous and uh, all of those things can now be seen on our website oh, yeah. uh, the and gallery dot com yeah. and uh, you can check that and work with my other artists out at that site 22 paintings is staggering and I'm still getting over the Jimmy Stewart painting from last year that came out you know <laughs> his work great? is so yeah. inspiring and, and well, being from Indiana it's great to see this stuff from around if, here if Jonesy here were smart he'd be having El Trogi sitting there strumming the guitar singing along as people are watching it see? yeah he's not half bad yeah he's <laughs> He's very, very good. <laughs> 26 minutes after 9, the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160 and 101.1 FM. Gentlemen, thanks. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. It is time for the Boomer with the Sports Minute, brought to you by s Bank.